Hi, welcome to my latest video in the series of basic tools for engineers. Today, for this week, we're going to look at about five new tools and concentrate on seven new vocabulary words. Experts say that seven is the kind of number that people can work with in working memory at any one time. So the videos now are going to have seven vocabulary words in them. If anybody would like me to make a small video lesson on anything specific, then please drop me an email or give me a message here on the YouTube channel. And again, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this week's session. Cheers. Hammers. A hammer is a tool that you can hit hard objects with. An object, in this case, means a workpiece or a piece of metal that you are working with. Hit means to touch something quickly and with power. Most hammers are hand tools and we use them to drive nails, fit parts, forge metal and break objects apart. Drive. In this case, drive means to push something with force. Forge means to form something by shaping metal. And here you're shaping the metal with a hammer. Drill bits. A drill bit is a tool designed to produce a circular hole. Produce. Produce means to make something, especially by using machines. Circular means it's shaped like a circle or part of a circle. Calipers. We use a caliper to measure the distance between two opposite sides of an object. Opposite is located across from, at the other end, on the other side, or corner of something. Dividers. Engineers dividers we use for marking circles on material and for measuring, transferring or marking off distances. Marking. Marking is to draw lines on something, in this case metal, so that it can clearly be seen. Transferring means to move something from one place to another. And in this case with dividers, we're moving the measurement from the ruler to the workpiece. Distance is the amount of space between two marks. A square. A square we use mainly to check a workpiece's square. It can also be used to help scribe a line at 90 degrees at the end of a workpiece. To check something means to look at something carefully to make sure there is nothing wrong with it. Square means that the two sides are at 90 degrees to one another. Scribe is to make a mark in something by scratching with a sharp pointed tool and the tool is known as a scriber. If you shape metal with a hammer, you A. Drive it, B. Hit it, C. Forge it, or D. Break it. If you want to drill a hole, you need A. A caliper, B. A drill bit, C. A reamer, or D. A divider. Which tool do you transfer measurements with? A. Squares, B. Scribes, 
C circles or D dividers. Where is opposite? Is it A across from, B at the other side, C at the other end or D all of the above? If you look at something to make sure there is nothing wrong with it, you A check it, B mark it, C scribe it or D forge it. If two sides are at 90 degrees, it is A circular, B square, C right or D opposite. Drawing lines on metal is called A hitting, B checking, C squaring or D marking. The amount of space between two marks is called a the length, B the depth, C the distance or D the far. And here are the answers. Number one, C forge it. Number two, B drill bit. Number three, D dividers. Number four, D all of the above. Number 5, A, check it. Number 6, B, square. Number 7, D, marking. And number 8, C, the distance. Check your scores. I hope you did well. If not, watch the video again and retake the test.